you were abducted and taken to an alien planet where they hunt you for sport and honor. Little do they know they've doomed themselves, for you're a werewolf, and they took you to a planet with six moons. Part 2. Even if I had a tank and could drive it, there's no telling if it'd be any use against anything these guys have. Is it just against the two of you? I ask. Yes, said the male. Will it be on my planet? No, said the female. Where? The female made another gesture to what was now a window. I made sure I didn't turn my back to them, but the view made it hard not to face it. The land masses were a deep indigo with crimson seas. Specks of silver lined different areas as stretch marks on the face of this titanic planet. I searched and felt a smirk cross my face. Six. Six moons. When do we begin? Also, can I at least get some pants? Wait, watch. Listen. Fuck space. Their form of pageantry that surrounds this little event is a little much for my taste. They were to pledge me, to show off what good stock they were to be hunting on this planet. Many onlookers, ship must have had 100 on board that I saw, and there is no fucking way I'm taking on 101 odds. I don't care if there is 30 moons. The smart wolf doesn't fuck with a larger pack without backup. The crated me in a glorified cage with all kinds of finery and filigree adorning it. I was just happy to have pants. Some platitudes were mentioned about the honor and glory of my kind, and for a moment my heart stopped. I had been working off the assumption that they believed me fully human. I was banking on it. But what if they had known? Humans are the dominant species of Earth, but the strongest predators may be something else. Hard to say in the moment if they knew what I was. Doubtless if they did, they wanted to play hard mode. But this was my hand. Time to see what they had. The summary. They had a lot. Out of their human sleeves, they were these gray-skinned insectoids with lean muscle. Their legs reminded me of grasshoppers, and they had four lanky arms. Their heads. And I laughed but their heads reminded me of the xenomorphs from Alien. Their form suggested they were fast runners with good dexterity. They couldn't fly, at least not without assistance, and their eyes changed color. My guess is that they could see different wavelengths, heat, ultraviolet, or maybe it was just a way of communicating, a way to imply tone or sentiment. They spoke to me, in my language, only once asking my name so that it could me immortalized as one of the worthy dead. I wanted to make a comment about the cart before the horse, but instead said, Buddy Barker. And we commend thee, Butter Baker, to the hallowed names of those torn asunder by the Aomas, said the priest, announcer. I defer to my original comment. Fuck space. I was working with a lot of unknowns and any questions I asked would reveal me to my hunters, so I kept it to one. What happens if I win? The female seemed bemused, the equivalent of a half-chuckle, I guess. With orange eyes, she said, If you are so fortunate, you will be returned home, of course. All that told me is that orange eyes means that they are lying. But hey, that's their tell. I considered what six moons meant. I had a few running theories. It may mean that all night cycles held the promise of the change, and whatever the stage of the moon would vary in how much control I'd have in my actions. This wouldn't be bad necessarily, but it'd be sporadic. Any tactics I'd have to implement when I wouldn't necessarily have the headspace to do it. If I got full moons or each one somehow enhanced me, I might be a strongest version of my change self. The automatic apex. Full form. No control. Just carnage. I smiled. It wouldn't matter what firepower they had. They'd be meat on the ground. Run, bunny, run. Healing would be no issue. Could shrug off an apocalypse. The mental strain might be no road home, though. Stuck like a monster forever. A win, but at what cost? The darkest possibility was that my change was tied directly to Luna, Earth's moon. Maybe none of these had any effect on me whatsoever. I might show up and pay in the currency of the curse, but these moons might say the only except pesos, instead of dollars. If that was the case, I was dead by planetfall. I shrugged. 
If that were the case, there wasn't much I could do. I'm not going to pretend I can fly anything these guys built, and even if I did hide, which as smart of a wolf as I am is not how I intend to go out, they'd probably find me with whatever they're bringing with them. I stay focused on the better options and hope for some degree of control. I'm outmanned and gunned, so the only tactic I have is going to be hitting them hard and getting out fast. That means wherever I end up needs to have a degree of cover to it or be dangerous enough to something that can't regenerate. A thought excites me. I didn't see any silver. More accurately, I couldn't smell any.